Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno. I'm the founder of Real Men Real Style. Today, gentlemen, I'm going to be identifying five mistakes that you are probably making when you cut your nails. Now, I know many of you guys are thinking, Antonio, I've been cutting my nails for, ne- for years. If I am making mistakes, I'm still alive. Obviously, it doesn't really matter. Not true. And I'm going to point out why in this video. I also support this video with an article, but really quick, this is brought to you by Zamberg. Now, Alex over at Zamberg, he actually runs this family business and he works with his father, his mother, his brother. I love their story, but what I really love is they've gone back to Solingen, Solingen, Germany. I know I just probably butchered that. You Germans probably can get in the comments and let me know how to properly pronounce it. But what is known about Solingen is it it is the the cutlery uh, when it comes to blades, when it comes to knives, when it comes to scissors, when it comes to utensils, details like that. This is the epicenter of some of the best manufactured products like this in the world. They've brought this in the United States and they've made it available. So go check out what they've got. Amazing manicure sets. Alex was sharing with me how he gave one of these sets to his UPS delivery man a couple years ago, sees the guy every day, comes and picks up packages. Almost every time he sees him, he talks about how, oh yeah, I got another compliment on that set. I really have enjoyed that set. Right now, you guys are looking for gifts for your friends, for your family, maybe for yourself this holiday season. Why not give something that actually is going to get, I mean, people are going to use and they're going to get high value from and they're going to have for a lifetime. I mean, the, the way they make these sets out of Germany, amazing quality, guys. So let's go ahead and get into the five things that you are probably making a mistake of and we're going to talk also about how to correct these. The number one mistake that people make when they're cutting their nails is improper hygiene. And what do I mean by this? Two ways. One is that they're cutting, they're using the same device to cut their hands as they are their feet. Now think about that. If you were in the gym this morning, I I actually went to the gym this morning and it's one of those things, who was walking, I mean you can pick things up on the floor, you can get you know all types of athletes foot and other fungi on your feet and you could easily pass that over to your hand. And you think about very easy to cut into your hand, cut, you know just get that small cut and all of a sudden you've got an infection that can lead to something, yeah, we don't even want to go there. And in fact, go ahead and type in manicure set and uh, AIDS, there was supposedly, now guys I don't want to get into this too much and I read this in three or four four sources, but I haven't heard this confirmed. Supposedly, there was a woman that shared uh, with her cousin a, a set of manicure sets and all of a sudden they had actually a de- AIDS you know, pass uh, among them. Now, normally this is very rare and I'm not going to you know, say that I don't want to get into that too deep, but I want you to, be, to take this seriously, that you need to not be sharing your, your clippers, your, your scissors with other people. You need to have your own set maintain proper hygiene and if someone is using it, make sure they're cleaning it. So point number two, scissors versus clippers. Now when I say clippers, these are the type of clippers I mean. The ones that we've seen for 99 cents at the drugstore. These are not the ideal instrument to be cutting your nails with. Many of us use it, they're incredibly popular, they were invented here in the United States they're so cheap, they're so easily to be found that we, we use these. But the problem is, is that you've got two sharp points hitting each other and guess what happens? Because they are using a cheap steel, uh, a stainless steel, it's dulling and it dulls very quickly. And then you've got two blunt instruments going together. So it's like you know trying to cut something with a dull knife. What happens when you try to cut a tomato with a dull knife? You end up cutting your own finger because you, you lose grip. The same thing, you're going to end up just crushing the nail, not truly cutting through it. What you want to be looking at are scissors and these are proper nail clippers by the way. These are ones you're going to see in doctor's offices, professionals use these and Zamberg does sell these, actually some very nice quality. I'll talk about what makes these high quality in a second but you can easily get a pair of nail scissors. Whenever I was living in Ukraine, I noticed that everyone, I noticed because I couldn't ever find clippers and I was having to start using scissors. But the scissors over there actually were incredibly sharp and they were using better materials and that leads us to point number three. So why would you want to use scissors? You know, they're going to do a better job cutting. Why are they going to do a better job cutting? Because the steel quality. Now you need to get a good pair of scissors and there's a big difference between, you know, the some scissors that are made from an inferior product. So here's how you can identify high quality scissors. Uh, first off, let's talk about 
there's usually a gold, a little gold screw right in here. And the reason that's going to contrast the actual material is that the screw is put in afterwards. If they're matching, then you're going to have to be suspect of the actual steel that was used and the sharpness of the, uh, of the, of the blade. Because if it matches, what happened is they probably sharpened the scissors after the fact versus sharpening them before and that's the whole reason they've got the uh, the gold plated uh, screw right there. Also you can see some tension bolts as well and those usually have a very unique shape right in there so only they can be you know tightened up at the factory by the artist who actually put this all together. Now I was talking in point number four I was talking about steel. So two types of common steel we're going to see out there. If you want something that's shoot super hard, if you want a pair of scissors or clippers that's going to maintain its edge, then you're going to see it's going to be high carbon. The problem with high carbon is it rusts very easily. So we've got stainless steel. The problem with stainless steel is it's soft and after a time it will start to lose its edge actually very quickly. Now you want to look for a company, uh, Solingen, uh, anything coming out of, out of that city is normally going to be very high quality. That's why I like companies like Zamberg, they do the quality control but they're going to look for a high carbon stainless steel. Usually this stuff is coming out of Switzerland. The great part about that is then all of a sudden mix it with the, you know, the tension bolt or you know the screw that's been put in there the high uh, really high quality steel that's not going to rust it's going to maintain its sharpness you're going to get 20 to 30 years out of these scissors you take care of them versus you know what 20 days or something you know sharpness out of something that's made from an inferior material if it ever was truly sharp so we've talked about the steel We've talked about some of the quality that goes into tools and because I can go a lot more into quality so go check out the article over at Real Men Real Style where I do go more into the quality. The last thing I want to talk about is to finish off your nails with a file. Okay, so I know you guys are thinking, I'm a man, why would I use a file? That's something that, yeah, it's not, let's face it guys, we have nails as we get older that become more brittle. Now when you're using a file there's two things you need to focus in on. One is the file should be actually used to finish off. So once you've cut the edges, any to anything sharp there you don't want to just keep cutting it with the scissors or clipping on it with the clippers. Instead this is where you go in and you use a file to finish it off. And when you use a file, part two, go in the same direction. So don't go back and forth. When you go back and forth, what this does is it can tear up the nail, it can crack the nail, and it can lead to other problems. So guys, what do you think? Did you make any of those five mistakes? Please let me know in the comments what mistakes you were making and uh, I'd like to hear, you know, what other questions do you have? We've got some other videos coming out. I'm going to talk about each of these instruments in detail. I'm a big fan of tools and that's why, you know, when I work with a company like Zamberg, I get something like this, I'm like, wow. I love the fact that it's in a set, that I have access to all the tools I need right here. When I'm done with them, I'll put them back. And you know, when I looked at this set, I'm immediately asking, okay, what's the difference between these two types of scissors, these type of clippers? Uh, and I'm going to answer that in another video. In addition, I'm going to show you guys in images exactly how it should look when you cut your nails, how far you want to go down. And uh, I'll also share with you guys a story at a later point of how I improperly cut my nails when I was in high school and how that led to a surgery. So yeah, we'll talk about that in a later video. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Take care and go check out Zamber. Great company and I can tell you that uh, getting this is a gift for somebody. I've already had a number of people check out these sets that I had sent to me and everyone is just blown away by the quality. They've never seen sets like this, uh, at least here in the United States. Uh, all right guys, see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.